Welcome to another episode of the Golf 2.0. I know last time I said it would be the last one, but a slight change of plans. So before, it would default to half a tank, so let's start it up and see what happens. All right, it's not at the half a tank line, and that's where it would default, so the tank does work. There is no more uh, red light for the door. That appears to be fixed, so if I open it up, it says it's open. The problem was the hatch, and that appears to be mended. You just need to shut it a little more forcefully, and it goes away. All right, so you want me to explain this? All right, so now we have a bit of an exhaust leak on the car, and we're looking to see if it's uh, a somewhat easy fix, or if we have to do some major repairs. So. We don't want to sell it to somebody with an exhaust leak unless if they're willing to buy it that way. So I have a smoke machine. Smoke leak detector. So what you do, these are some of the pieces. These are pieces we're going to need for this particular application. You slide that on there. It uses mineral oil, which is right here which is already inside. You need a 12 volt jump box, which is connected through here. You take this, plug it in here, shove that right in the tailpipe. Let's uh, show you what it looks like real quick before we go hooking it to the car. And then we'll, uh, with the magic, of editing next we'll be at the car it's yeah it's a smoke machine it so once it starts smoke. going we're gonna have to win that so this is what happens I just hold this here a lot of it leaks out anyway but the leak is down there by the cat as expected I'll cut to that so we have found our exhaust leak right there uh, it's not coming through on camera but that is black and the rest of it's kind of like a rusty brown so that's where it's leaking straight up at the heat shield nothing but some steel wool and JB weld so the inner clip was lost in the fire um, we were gonna show you a product that's apparently for high heat exhaust it turns out it was crap and it did absolutely nothing so I don't see it's that important that it's gone. So, it's been a little while, and uh, we got some packages from Rock Auto, and I think I know what they are. So, this is what was in that box. That is a new catalytic converter, which was necessary. So, this is the old one. Um, so, that's that would be right there. So, that was in really bad shape, and is probably why it has an exhaust coupler on it. And probably why the exhaust leak was there. So it should be, you know, sounding like a normal car now. So that's good. Okay, so I got out of work late. Um, my dad put on the JB Weld. It sat for 45 minutes. Now the instructions say 30 minutes to an hour, 45 minutes. Run the car, basically heat cycle the JB Weld, and hopefully it works. So let's see if the JB Weld is held. something still leaking and now you basically effectively need to heat cycle it and let it harden and then you should be good to go okay so that was a success 
it sounds a lot better. There may be a small leak or something, but that is a drastic improvement. Now the car is dead and cooling off at the moment. So again, the heat cycle. Um, that being said, I'm going to take some basic pictures, not the not the outside is covered in pollen, but stuff like the interior. And I will take the rest of the photos tomorrow. Hopefully this sells quick. The exhaust leak is basically gone. Um, I'll cut it in the clip. And I'm just gonna go take it for a test drive, get some new photos, and relist it. Now that sounds like a civilized car. Being there is wax on this and it doesn't show up on the camera, but you may see some pollen. I'm just gonna put a towel on it and it'll be good enough for 10 foot photos. Here we are, a golden hour moments. And there is a nice spot for photos. You know, hopefully our next clip will be someone's coming to look at it. So the test drive was yesterday for the Golf. I was out so my dad handled the PR. Uh, apparently we are supposed to go drop it off. It is a 20 minute drive. And hopefully the next clip will be me saying the car is sold with money. And here she is at her new home. So. The cost for this will be the cost of the Golf plus the Golf plus the cost of the 924 because I traded the 924 for the Golf to get into a car that I could actually sell and make money. That being said, I have $2,747.38. I sold the car for $3,400 and I made a profit of $652.62. Obviously, not a glamorous profit, but the car did achieve its purpose. The car is sold, it's no longer mine, it was easier to sell, and I did make a profit. So, now I am somewhat more sound again. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Mission success. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to leave a like, favorite, and subscribe. And thank you for watching all 230-something of you for justifying my horribly expensive habit.